Hello everybody. Welcome to the Wild Card New Year's edition of uh, our NFL picks. And here's my dad, Richard Reeks, mm -hmm. and this is going to be the last time he joins me on this because he's flying south for the winter. He's very fortunate to get away from this cold weather in the Boston area to go down to Florida. I'm very jealous of you, but hey, you know what? When I retire, maybe I'll do the same thing as well. Mm. And also, too, another quick note about Reeks. My name, obviously, is not Reeks, but a good friend of mine said Johnny Reeks, and it seemed to stick, and I happen to like it. Oh, well. Anyways, just a little insight to that. Before we start the wildcard edition, we have a couple of things to tie up over last week for some of the teams that made the playoffs. Congratulations to Baltimore for getting that last spot um, in the AFC. Did a good job, even though they struggled against Cleveland a little bit, as you said yourself, but the defense played well. Flacco came through at the end. San Diego looked atrocious against the Chiefs. I don't know what happened. I like Rivers a lot. I don't know if he was more banged up. He was missing his best receiver in Keenan Allen and his best running back in Ryan Matthews. But let's go over to the NFC, and we're going to talk about somebody that I like very much. Maddie. Maddie Choke on the Ice Ryan. He was a How does that show up against Carolina? He didn't throw one pick six. He's down with Rex Grossman, a couple of puke picks. Um, really, I think the Falcons could have got uh, Chris Chandler out of retirement to play better than that. Steve Barkowski, maybe. Or uh, Steve DeBerg, one of you these old Falcons. You knew the coach was on thin ice, and that kind yeah. of put him over the edge. That's right. Mike Smith. Hey, Matty, you got Mike fired. Good job, Matty. And you're making $10 million to stink. Maybe you and Cutler can confer. Who stinks more? <laughs> I think uh, Cutler might have you beat a little bit. Oh, Manziel has both of you guys beat, but Cutler and Matty Puke Ice, Colonoscopy Cutler, the two of them, just big disappointments. And as you know, we're just doing this in jest, too. We don't hate those guys. They just, it's just for fun. They frustrate us, though. Matty Ryan is overrated. All right, on to the wildcard round games. The first game that we have is the Arizona Cardinals are getting six and a half. At Carolina, Arizona was 11-5. and five. Carolina was 7-8-1 on the 500 record, but came on at the end. What do you think? I think in this game, I probably want to take Arizona with the points. Arizona with the points. I like Arizona. they got a good defense. I know they're really struggling at quarterback, but you look at the team with a 6-10 and 10 record. Arizona, even with all the quarter, quarterback well, seven, problems. Seven, eight, and one, but that's okay. No, but, but I'm saying that pretty much <laughs> the record. Okay, right. But uh, Arizona still won, what, 11 games? And they, 11 they won games. 10 games last year? Yes. I know they got quarterback issues, but I still think they can put it together and pull this one out. Either that or at least cover. A cover, of course. That's all we care about is covering, unless it's your favorite team. Patriots for him, Broncos for me. Uh, and Cowboys. My best friend's a Cowboys fan, and I always want them to win, too. Um, I think Arizona's going to win this game because, like what he said, I like their strong defense. They can put pressure on the quarterback. I also feel that um, Cam Norton is hurt. He hasn't been crisp Cam all year. Norton. He was not um, crisp at all this season. He struggled. He tried to run around. He looked like he slid ugly, etc. They lost the two receivers uh, from last year. LaFell went to the Patriots, and Steve Smith went to the Ravens. Um, I don't like their offense. I know they did well last week, but Maddie gave them two touchdowns. So it's not like their offense scored a ton of points. I like Arizona. Lindley played much better this week against San Fran. They lost by a field goal. I think they're going to pull the upset. They have a better defense, and they can run the ball. 24-21 to 21 Arizona. All right, next game, the Saturday night game. The Baltimore Ravens are getting three points at Pittsburgh. Um, Pittsburgh's been coming on strong recently. They're 11 and five, and Baltimore is 10 and six. What are your thoughts? I'm not sure how Pittsburgh is going to be affected with the loss of their running back, was a oh. great season. However, no. however, I still think I have to stick with Pittsburgh in this game, playing at home. Quarterbacks, they're both good quarterbacks, but Pittsburgh. I think Rothel's is a little better quarterback than Flacco. I think I'd have to go with Pittsburgh in this game. I'm going to agree with you on this one. The reason being is not just because of Roethlisberger. Absolutely because of that. Home field is the first thing. The second thing is, even though Baltimore made the playoffs, their play was slipping going down the stretch. I give them credit. They did what they had to do. They had a bunch of games. They went into Houston the second to last week of the year. Flacco was awful against a good defense. 
And then then they played somebody like Jacksonville a couple weeks before that and barely cover. They didn't. They just don't look right. I respect them a lot because they make the playoffs every year and they have an excellent coach in John Harbaugh. But I think Pittsburgh's playing better. Roethlisberger had an MVP type season, and I don't just don't think they're going to lose. Uh, twenty eight to twenty Steelers. All right, on to the next game. Your favorite quarterback, Andy Dalton, plus three and a half with Cincinnati at at the Colts. I think this spread seems kind of low. I think it seems kind of low, but I really like Indy at home with the young quarterback, Andrew Luck. I think he's a good quarterback. I think they'll play well enough. I know they don't have much of a running game. Their defense is a little shaky, but I still, in a big game like this, I think I'd have to take Indy. I agree with you on this, but I also have some interesting stats, too. I have a question for you. When was the last time the Cincinnati Bengals won a playoff game? Take a guess. 1991. You were close, 1990. Uh, Boris and against the Houston Oilers. Houston Oilers, they don't even exist anymore. What does that tell you? I thought you were going to say Kenny Anderson against uh, the Chargers and the Colts, you know, but no, it wasn't that one. It was the freeze in the end. It was freeze like bowl. The, freeze bowl, the freeze bowl, right. But on to the game, I like luck against this team. Uh, Marvin Lewis is 0-5 in the, in the playoffs. They always lose. He's going to be 0 I think he's going to be 0 6 after this week. And Absolutely. I give them credit against Denver a couple weeks ago, but they had their chance against Pittsburgh. And what did they do? They didn't come up. They came up short. Andy Dalton threw a bad pick. A.J. Green didn't help him either by fumbling and then another pick off of his hands. That's not Dalton's fault, but I like Indy's, the, Indy's offense. T.Y. Hilton didn't play at the end of the year. I think he'll be back, supposedly. I know their defense is shaky, but you know what? They shut this team out this year at home, so they should have confidence against them, I would think. All right, the next game, the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, right, right. Looking at my notes here, see props. Anyways, mm -hmm. um, the Detroit Lions are favored by 6.5 at Dallas. No, D Dallas is favored by Oh, that's right. See, I couldn't. My thing's throwing me up. Detroit plus 6.5 at Dallas. Right, of course. And then we have another one of those questions. When's the last time that the Detroit Lions won a playoff game? Bobby Lane was quarterback? No. Long time a little ago. closer, but not by, not a, it's been a while. Take a guess. In the 90s, I believe. Who was it? Eric Kramer. Eric Kramer, who played for Chicago later on, 1991. And they had one time, they went 15 years without going to the playoffs. Detroit's had some stretches where they've really stunk. Yeah. Been bad team. They haven't won the division since '91 as well, too. Pretty sad, really. It's like futility. They had their chance last week, and what they do? They throw up on themselves at right, Green Bay. Exactly. And then Sue jumps, steps on Aaron Rodgers. By the way, that was cheap, and he should be suspended. He did it on purpose. That's a bunch of crap. He they said that he won. Too. Yeah, he stepped. First one might have been an accident. Second one, eh, Aaron, I want to get you your your, your, your thing. I, I missed it. You already hurt your your uh, calf early. I want to injure it more. Scumbag he is. Anyways, he deserves to get cut block at the beginning right. of that game for what he does to people. I love Dallas in this game myself, absolutely. You do, yeah. Absolutely. Because the offense is better. The offense. I just yeah. don't like Detroit. They just they, they have trouble scoring. They really struggle. Another stat, too, is Matthew Stafford in his like, six-year career versus teams over 500 on the road. Oh, and 16. That makes me real, feel real confident Painful. going into Dallas, right? Painful. It's terrible. I mean, did it last week, too. Just found a way to puke on themselves. I know Green Bay is a good team, but their defense is so good, like everybody says. Why couldn't you have hung in the game? You didn't. And Aaron Rodgers even missed part of it. It's sad. Um, I think Dallas will run the ball. They have a fantastic offensive line, probably the best in football. DeMarco Murray had, like, at least 1,850 yards. Romo's another one who had an MVP type season. The Cowboys defense is better than you think it is. I think the Cowboys will win 31 to 20. And I think we're in agreement there. So All right. Well, thank you very much for watching the award-winning video this week. Um, I hope you watch it next week. Uh, unfortunately, I'll be by myself next week. Maybe I'll get him on the uh, on the cell phone and have him in like a like a remote cutting in cuz he's not going to be around. Because when I do my sermon, it's more boring. When this guy's on, it's a little <laughs> bit more interesting. But thank you so much. I appreciate it. And you all have a good rest of the day and enjoy the games.